Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about one method that is used to copy data from one physical file to another physical file. Or we can say that we will discuss the mechanism through which we can copy or uh, or create the duplicate physical file. So before going to discuss the same process, I will show you one physical file that I have already created and which contains some data and that we will use for the implementation of this process. So in my another session, session B, I have opened the str SQL and in that I will run this command, uh, this query that is select star from shermit1 that is my library name slash my physical file name that is emppf. So once I hit enter on this query, it will return us these five records which contains employee IDs and employee names. So if I run the same query, again but with different name that is emppf2 so suppose i wanted to create another physical file that uh, that is all that is known as emppf2 so once i hit enter it shows that emppf2 in shermit1 type file not found it means at this moment this file is not in my library so what we will do we will create a duplicate physical file uh, which will be same as the emppf and its name will be emppf2 so now we will see the method so for this we will use one command that is cpyf command so just type cpyf and take f4 now in the from file we have to specify the physical file name or member name that we uh, from which we want to copy the data so in our case we will put emppf here because I want to copy data from EMP PF file. Now we have to specify the library in which this EMP PF resides. So my library name is shermit1. Now in the two file, we have to put the physical file or member name that we want to create. So I wanted to create an EMP PF2. Now put the library name in which you want to create this physical file. So my library name will, will be same that is shermit1. Now we have to put the member name. So if we uh, talk about the multi-member physical file, then in that case, we will put the member name here also like from EMPPF first member or any other member. Uh, if I wanted to copy the data from per for particular member to particular member, then we can use this options that is from member and to member. But as of now, we will only see the method for the normal physical file. So we will keep it same. It means it will copy the data from first physical file, um, first member of physical file that is default member to the uh, EMPPF2 default member that is first. Now this option is used when we have already created the EMPPF2. But in now in this case, we don't have the object for EMPPF2. So we will keep it as a none. Now for create file option, we have to put yes because as of now we don't have any existing object with emppf2 if it exists then we can uh, put it as a no because if uh, it is not already existing then it will replace so for in that case we have to put uh, options there also but as of now we uh, we will create the new physical file so just put star yes and now press enter so as soon you uh, press the enter you will see that e physical file emppf2 is created in library shermit1 now we will run the same query again so once you hit enter it will show that emppf2 contains the record which is same as emppf file so in the this way we can directly copy the data from one physical file to another or we can create the duplicate physical file so for this session, uh, this is the only thing I wanted to tell you. So in our upcoming session, we will discuss about more topics. So thank you for watching Texture Myth.